Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to continue with the explanation how to use the Creo template if you create new 3D model or assembly. In the last video tutorial, you have understand if you will select a new 3D model, what does it mean use default template? So check the previous tutorial. But today we would like to continue with the orientation of the coordinate system based on the another CAD software, for example, CATIA. So if I will for now create new 3D model, we will specify the name and confirm OK, the system will show me the default coordinate system orientation yeah, for better visualization is better if you will visualize the day templates. As you can see, the X is going to the right and Y is going to the top and Z is going in front of me. But if we will compare the information from the web, I can see that orientation in the CATI is absolutely different. So we can see that X and Y is going in the, the bottom orientation and Z going up. So what does it mean if we would like to migrate or open data from CATIA in Creo and use the same orientation, we would like to have the same orientation of the coordinate systems. And how to do it? We will create new template for CATIA import data. Let's go back to Creo. And as we know from previous tutorial, everything is maintained by the option configuration option. So if you will select file option configuration editor, you can see that, for example, for the solid 3D model, we are using configuration op option template solid part. For sheet metal, it's a template sheet metal part and template design assembly is it for the assembly, create new assembly. And for the 3D model template solid part, I'm using the model solid.prt, store it in the subfolder templates. What does it mean if I will create new 3D model, come from OK and come from OK, the system will load this solid template and create for me necessary orientation, datum planes, relations, materials, and so on. We would like to focus today on the orientation of the coordinate system. So we will try to create new template for this CATIA. What does it mean? We will create new template Katia, yeah, it's a name, and I will use and come from OK button. I don't want to reuse the existing information so simple and easily we can delete from the model tree and we will start from scratch. So if I will select create new plane, the system will create for me the three datum planes. Based on these datum planes, I'm able to create custom coordinate system and with the selection, the system will make the orientation of the X orientation, Y orientation, and Z orientation. Again, you can see that maybe the orientation is not as you planned, so you can jump into orientation plane and the Y we would like to spin. We can simply to say the flip. So use the flip button, and now orientation of the coordinate system is based on the logic from the CATIA. Okay, we can confirm. Now you are able to change the name of the datum plane. So for example, over there will be right orientation. This one will be top and last one will be front. Yeah, so it's up to you. You can use it and rename and also you can manipulate and work with the parameters. So if we will create and continue, I will create the parameters, for example, import. Yeah, and we will say that is the not real number, but it will be string and for example, Katia. Yeah. This parameter, if it is necessary to maintain also with windchill, you are able to use the designation and come from OK. If you don't want to share it with windchill, you don't need to designate this parameter and so on. So please set up the relation parameters and custom preferences material for this template and everything what you apply will be stored in this model. And now this model will be saved. So I will use the functionality, save a backup to the folder where I, where I would like to use it. File, save us, save a backup. And I will use the subfolder CAD Creo 11 configuration template and over there will be stored model template Katia. And now we would like to use it as the default when I create new 3D model. So what we need to do we have to change the configuration option. Simple close, 
go to file option and configuration editor. We know that name is the template solid part and you are able to change it directly here. Or if you do not, if your config is really huge, you can simple to found. Yeah. And you can use the name, for example, solid part and you can search. And now you are able to use the browse functionality. So you don't need to manually change the name. You can simple to browse. If you hit the browse button, you are able to jump to the specified folder and select the object what you want to use. For example, this template Katia, I will use the function open at change, close. And now if I would like to use it for the future change, I am able to confirm OK and use the function save as the yes. And the system will allow to you to save this configuration option for this. Validation, I don't want to save it. I would like to only test it, so I will don't use the save functionality or confirm yes. I like to test it, so we will create new 3D model with the name Q1. And if you will confirm OK, we will see that system automatically load proper template, configuration template, template Katia. Model is reused in the proper way. The 3D datum planes are named as was requested before and specified and also orientation of the coordinate system is as needed. So in this video tutorial, you have understand how to maintain templates and create your custom template and specify the necessary configuration option. Thanks for this question. Stay tuned and bye-bye.